embracing the strange today's illusion is the starling of fall. I drew this concept sketch yesterday, and I loved it so much, I had to paint it. With its back to the onlooker, the figure is kneeling, its body folding over and through itself like the thread of a needle. One arm is raised, reaching into the nothingness of the would-be sky, while the other arm is bent in an effort to push off from the trunk. The figure is full of aspiration and boundless hope. However, the head is anchored to the ground beside the foot, keeping the figure in check. Visually, it is reminiscent of the Star Tarot from the Raider Weight deck, which is the OG iconic card deck, really. I'm not heavily immersed in tarot, though I own three decks. Mostly for the artist, the latter two, I would say that, yeah. I'm not a good card reader, I've said before, which makes this visual semblance even more interesting to me. Because it just popped into my head. What do you think of the similarities? It's uncanny, isn't it? And the meaning of the upright card does fit my mood for now, but I don't really trust it. I don't really trust anything. <laughs> I can't help but feel in my stylistic and twisted recreation of this card, I guess I'll call it that, although it was unintentional. I doubt I'd ever make a tarot card deck. That's a bit much for me. I think the hand of this painting is the star of the card, the traditional card, and the anchor head is like the water or the lake of which the woman has retrieved water and is pouring water. I don't know, what do you think? I love it regardless, although when I conceptualized it, I thought it would be brighter, more blue. It felt like very turquoise. That's like the color association that really came to mind with it. But the colors for this turned out more subdued. Like I said, I still love it. It's just like, hmm, what's going on? If you take anything from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on. So I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.